chapter 4 agriculture the major topics first of all types of farming there are three types of farming existing in our country primitive subsistence farming second one intensive subsistence farming and third one is commercial farming we can discuss details about each one first of all the important one primitive subsistence farming it is still practiced in few areas of india it practiced on small patches of land small areas of land primitive tools are used and family members are the laborers it depends upon the monsoon and natural fertility it is a slash and burn method it does not utilize fertilizers and other modern inputs the productivity of this type of farming is low it is known by different names in different parts of our country like jamming pamlu and dipa in the northeastern states jamming in manipur pamlu and in the bastar district of chatisgarh it is called dipa then the second type of farming intensive subsistence farming it is practiced in areas of high population it is a labor intensive farming high doses of biochemical inputs and irrigation are used for higher productivity the third type of farming it is commercial farming it is use of higher doses of modern inputs example hiv seeds chemical fertilizers insecticides and pesticides and plantation is also a type of commercial farming plantation means a, a single crop is grown on a large area migrant laborers are working in this type of farming all the produce is used as raw material in respective industries in india tea coffee rubber etc are the commercial farming or the example for the plantation crops then the next topic cropping pattern what are the major cropping seasons in india there are rabi kharif and zaid rabi crops it is sown in winter from october to december and harvested in summer from april to june example wheat barley peas etc then in which are the regions this type of farming it is in north and the northwestern parts such as punjab haryana himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir etc so while we are discussing about the crops the duration of the uh, sowing of seeds and harvesting and which are the major crops and in which are the regions it is growing kharif crop grown with the onset of monsoon and harvested in september major crops paddy maize jowar etc in the assam west bengal coastal regions of odisha andhra pradesh it is growing then in between rabi and kharif there is a short interval that is called as zaid season the major crops growing in this season it is watermelon musk melon cucumber vegetables etc these are the three cropping patterns rabi kharif and zaid then the next topic the major crops crops are divided into food crops and non food crops then food crops again divided into two food crops grains and food crops other than grains now we can discuss about the food crops grains first of all rice it is the staple food india is the second largest producer of rice in the world it is belongs to kharif crop for rice the temperature above 25 degrees celsius and annual rainfall above 100 cm it is grown in the plains of north and northeastern india and coastal areas in the deltaic regions then the second food crops grains it is wheat it is the second most important cereal crop it is the main food crop in the north and northwestern part of the country it is a rabi crop it requires cool growing seasons and a bright sunshine it requires 50 to 75 cm annual rainfall there are two important wheat growing zones in our country first one the ganga satluj plains in the northwest second one the black soil regions of the deccan tract punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar etc are the major wheat producing states in, in our country then food crops other than grains one example sugarcane it is a tropical as well as subtropical crop it grows well in hot and humid climate temperature 
needed 21 degree to 27 degree Celsius rainfall between 75 to 100 centimeter. India is the second largest producer of sugar cane. Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh are the major states growing sugar cane. Then non-food crop. Example, first one rubber. It is an equatorial crop. It requires moist and humid climate. Rainfall is needed more than 200 centimeter. Temperature is needed for growing about 25 degrees Celsius. It is an important industrial raw material. It is grown in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Andaman and Nicobar Islands and on the Garo Hills of Meghalaya. In 2010-11, India ranked fourth in the production of rubber. Then one of the second example for the non-food crop it is cotton. India is the original home of cotton plant. In 2008, India was the second largest producer. It grows well in drier parts of black cotton soil of the Deccan Plateau. It requires high temperature, light rainfall, otherwise irrigation facility is needed. It is a kharif crop. Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka are the examples for the growing of cotton. Then one of the important questions, what are the technological and uh, industrial reforms set up by government of India for the welfare of agriculture and farmers? The government of India embarked upon introducing agricultural reforms to improve Indian agriculture in the 1916 and 1970s. There are two projects for that, the Green Revolution and the White Revolution for the development of agriculture and farmers. In the 1980s and 1990s, there is a comprehensive land development program was initiated. There are provisions for crop insurance against drought, flood, cyclones, such as the natural calamities occurring. And established Grameen banks, cooperative banks and other banks helping farmers. And Kisan credit card. Personal Accident Insurance Scheme, Special Weather Bulletin and Agricultural Program for Farmers were introduced on the radio and television to help the farmers. Okay, thank you.